do an intro and I got something all over my shirt so I'm in a different shirt but it's still the same day and I just actually finished editing the video um, but this is my school supplies haul um, I did all of my shopping at Walmart this year um, I went to Target but they had nothing cute left so I just went to Walmart and finished all of it so any of the stuff I have that you want you can get it all at Walmart um, but let's go ahead and get to the video I hope you enjoy first things I got were really standard they were just binders and I got two one inch binders from class at the pink chandelier collection and they just like this and I got one in blue and green Then I just got some Studio C decorative tab dividers. These are pretty essential for me just so I can you know, keep organized my binders and stuff. And I have to have these every day. Next I just got four notebooks and they are also from Pink Chandelier. And this is from the It's a Breeze collection. Alright, yeah, the Pink Chandelier collection. And I just got three of these striped ones. And a, I don't know what you would call this. It, it kind of looks like lips. Using <laughs> the lips and the teeth. But yeah, I just got this one. Another thing that I always have to have is folders. And I just got four. And they're all from in, they're all from Studio C. Um, the first one just has this floral design on it. Two have the chevron design on it, and the last one has polka dots. Next, I just got paper, and I'm really picky about the paper I write on. I don't know why, I just can't stand certain papers. So, um, I always get five star, and this is just the college ruled, and I got two packs of this. And then I just found this really cute paper. And it's by Studio C, and it has this really cute damask border on it, like the reinforcement, and it is so cute. It's just adorable, and I could only find one pack in college ruled, and I don't like wide rule. Everyone needs pens and pencils for school, so I just picked up the big pencils, the mechanical pencils in 24, and this is the 0.9. The next pack I got are just the Paper Mate Jumbo Twist of Erasers, and they just look like this. I love these pencils. They last me forever, and they're in blue and green, so. Now for my pens, I just picked up two packs of the B2P pencils by um, Pilot, and I love these pens, um, but I couldn't find them in blue, and that's my favorite to write in, so I just got two in black. And since they didn't have blue in the B2B, I just got the Paper Mate Ink Joy and they just like this and I never written with these before but it had ink joy so it was just kind of like joy so it's got to be a joy to write with so I just picked this up now the next thing I really didn't need but it was only 97 cents so I was like oh I'm gonna get this um the first thing are just these Crayola markers the fine line ones and then I picked up the Crayola colored pencils and I don't really use these that much but I'm pretty sure I could use them for world history or something so I just picked these up. And kind of going along with the whole marker theme, I picked up four Sharpies. And I didn't get a pack of them just because I wanted certain colors. So I just picked up these out of the little 78 cent men. And the first one I got is the Sharpie Neon Pink one. Then the Sharpie Neon Green one. The Sharpie Neon Blue one. And then I just picked up a gray because they didn't have black and you need a pretty standard color to write. So I just picked up gray. Okay, this next thing is something I use every year and they help me so much. Um, and they're just index cards. And I picked up two packs of these. Um, the first pack I got from Dollar Tree, I think. And it's just got 75 in them. And then I went to Walmart and I saw these had 100 in them. So I just picked up another pack. And they're just the neon, the ruled neon index cards. Then since I can never seem to keep track of all my index cards, I just got this index card case and it's pink with this little chevron detail on it. And it's not the cutest one, but it was the cutest one I could find. So I was just like, I have to have this, so I just got this one. Now since I'm in high school and I do write in pens a lot, I do make tons of mistakes. And I just got two things of whiteout. And the first one is the correction tape. 
and I can never get these things to work right. I'll get it to work for like a week and then I'll break it or something. So I'm really going to try to work with this and actually get it to work this year. So I'm really excited just to make this work. And the next thing I got, just because I do have a problem with the correction tape, is the correction pin. And I like these a lot better than the paint just because they're a lot easier for me to use. But it's just a per preference preference it's just a preference so you can get whatever you want then I just picked up these post-it notes these are the super sticky ones and these just really help me you know to remember stuff I just kind of stick these everywhere just to remind me of certain things that I have to do um, and I really have to have reinforcement labels just because I have so many papers that fall out and these just keep them all tidy and neat in my binder and then these are the Avery reinforcement labels and they come with 924 so if these don't last me I'm pretty screwed and these just come in all the neon colors um, and then to go along with the whole organization thing I just got these disposable tabs by post-it and I just stick these in my book and write the date that I have a test on it so I'll know what to study and when I need to study it and then to hold all these goodies together I just got this pencil case but I actually already had this from the year before um, I just couldn't find a cute one so I was just like this one lasted me so I'm pretty sure I can use it again and it's just this kind of plaid detail and it has this huge bow in the front and I really love this it's pretty light so it's not like heavy and it's pretty sleek so it's not going to take up so much space. The last thing I got is not really something I'm going to be taking to school with me. Um, it's just something that I got because I always have projects and I have this um, little three hole puncher that I have in my binder and it never really works to like go through all of my papers at once so I have to like divide them and do them once at a time and it kind of messes up how they're aligned so I kind of get annoyed so when I saw this three hole puncher at um, Walmart for four dollars I had to get it and it's just one that you know you see on your teacher's desk and stuff so I really find this is going to come in handy and I'm really happy that I can find this thanks for watching I hope I really helped you guys find what you need for school and I'm really excited to start this school year I actually just registered yesterday and my classes seem amazing and I think this is going to be a good year, and I know most of you probably aren't ready to go back to school, but I kind of am, so whoever else is excited, you should tell me why. And I'm going shopping this weekend for school clothes, so I'm going to try to have a clothing haul up soon for school, you know, back to school clothing haul. And I'm going to try to have that up by next week, so when it is up, it'll be linked down below or somewhere on the screen. Um, again, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Hey.